Oh my god, they're so underrated because they're so cute. I actually got my boyfriend for Christmas, last Christmas, two pygmy goats and they're two little goat sisters. They're really cute, they're tiny, they live on a farm and they, they just got like the best personalities. Like they jump around and they want to play and they're really cuddly and they're just so cute and more people need to have goats. Everyone needs to get a goat. <laughs> mini skirts are underrated. Wearing a mini skirt could maybe get you some kind of unwanted attention, but I think we've, we're also coming to a point where we're claiming ownership of our bodies and becoming very, very confident in that. And so I feel like mini skirts are definitely underrated and we should bring it back because we bloody deserve it. You know that game that people were playing for ages on their phones and it was like trying to find the Pokemon and then people were getting like bloody run over. I definitely think that's overrated and should not be happening in this day and age. I think that's insane. But Pokemon in itself, I feel like I've got quite a lot of fun childhood memories. Um, and so I feel like in itself, the rating is good, but anything that exceeds just the like general Pokemon and Pokemon cards that goes one step further into trying to bring it into our everyday lives, absolutely not. Get rid of it. I don't want to see it. I don't know, I bloody love Ikea, to be honest. Lots of people love Ikea. I don't think it's overrated or underrated. I think it's just perfect exactly where it stands. I remember moving into like my first apartment and needing to buy like a bunch of furniture really quickly. And I just like ran and got everything in Ikea. Plus the food. Well, every time I go to Ikea, I get like a massive bag of dime chocolate, but it's like salted caramel chocolate, but it's like, crunchy and then it's covered in milk chocolate. It's delicious and you can get it there. I'm into their little like weird deli there. <laughs> I think selfies are a little bit underrated to be honest. <laughs> when you're on your own and you look kind of cute and you want to take a picture, why are they just seen as such like an embarrassing thing? It's like, why can you not just do this shameless selfie? Just take that picture, you know you want to. I've had cheap beer, but only out of wanting to get drunk, to be honest. So maybe it's a bit underrated. It's quite fun. They're just like delicious and they're soft and then like a little bit sweet and salty and just amazing. And my favorite place to get a bagel is in New York. I love to go to the, that spot, Russ and Daughters. Um, on the Lower East Side. I will wait the line. Underrated, overrated, I have no bloody idea, just love them. <laughs> love that movie so much. What's her name, Kate Winslet? She's um, like, the hair changes are so iconic and she's such a fun character. I, I love it, I, maybe it is a bit of an underrated classic. Um, I feel like some other movies come at the top of people's list before that, but it's definitely a really special one. Overrated. You're just exhausted the next day and you just, you're just, you're, you're a shell of a person. All you need is sleep. The, I guess the only time to pull an all-nighter is if for sure you've got nothing to do the next day, then you can sleep all day but definitely overrated. It's so much more fun to go to the party for a bit and go home at the right time and feel really accomplished. Hmm. I think, I think exercising is, you know, good exactly where it is. I feel like there's always a positive message around exercising. I think it's incredibly important. It, it's, it's really important for your mental health, I feel like, to just get up and, you know, get out and work out and do something. I think it makes a massive difference and people feel like maybe, or at least I did until I found the things that I really loved, that exercising was such a pain in the ass and just a chore and I just couldn't be bothered. But I think once you kind of find certain things that you love, like for me, I really enjoy yoga and then occasionally I like to do some spinning or you know something like that, that I feel like I can get behind and I really enjoy it. That makes me feel really good and I don't find it 
like annoying and like a chore. And I feel like the positive messaging around exercising, I think it's really important. He's underrated um, because, you know, he's, he's always been, you know, a fighter for, for equality and human rights. You know, it, I, I'd, I would have liked to see America under his administration, but I don't think that the world was ready for that yet. I love him. I think he's amazing. And I think he's going to continue to do some incredible things and, and people will see that more and more. I like tie dye. It's a bit maybe overrated <laughs> a little bit, but it's also like such an easy thing to do at home. I think what's really cool actually is, is, people like repurposing outfits that they've already worn and trying to make things different. And I think that's really important, especially in this kind of age where there's so much fast fashion and people are constantly just like buying clothes, never wearing them again, or if they've been seen in it, never wanting to wear them again. And I think it's really important that if you have something that you love, yes, you wear it again, but if you want to, you can like jazz it up and do something special to it and, and make it so that you do love it. And if that involves tie dyeing it and making it feel brand new, I think absolutely. But I don't know, maybe in the fashion sense, maybe a bit overrated. Maybe there's too much tie dye in this world. <laughs> <laughs>